Thanks everybody for joining us today to take a look at Starship and the uh, e-commerce integration with our latest web client update. We're going to show you how you can supercharge your Dynamics GP e-commerce shipping. So Starship's uh, traditionally been a uh, uh, multi-carrier solution focused on e-commerce or excuse me ERP integration with Dynamics GP. Uh, a few years ago we introduced uh, both Amazon and eBay as marketplaces that could be uh, shipped against and we're seeing more and more requests um, from our GP customers uh, to integrate with other shopping cart platforms. So over the last few years we've added a number of different shopping carts, different marketplace options. So uh, Starship now offers you kind of a tandem integration between both e-commerce and ERP. Of course, uh, multi-carrier, uh, we've you know, continued to add LTL carriers and uh, partner with some different 3PL organizations to expand the carrier offerings. Uh, Starship also gives you a wide variety of custom rules, uh, freight rules, ship via rules, uh, switching rules between carriers to kind of automate that carrier selection process if you want to take the decision out of the hands of your operator. Also some powerful uh, logic uh, based around uh, printing, emailing, so you're notifying uh, the correct customers with the information that uh, they want to see. Uh, we've also added uh, WMS integrations with the GP space. Uh, we've partnered with uh, Panatrack and also offer an interface with the High Jump Collect for GP product. And EDI, we also work uh, closely with High Jump's uh, True Commerce product and a number of other EDI providers uh, in the GP world. As I mentioned, uh, we have a bunch of different uh, shopping carts. These are some of the uh, different marketplaces and shopping carts that are available uh, in, in Starship today. And uh, we're gonna share with you uh, some of the other newer ones that are coming up. A lot of popular names there that you may recognize. On the uh, carrier side, we uh, are still supporting all the major parcel carriers. And we've also added a number of uh, different uh, LTL carriers over the year. That list always is growing and expanding. If you don't see the carrier or 3PL service that you are currently using here, feel free to contact either your sales rep or customer account manager, and we'd be happy to uh, take your feedback and we're always looking for ways to enhance the software. On the e-commerce side, uh, we've also introduced some new um, carts and marketplaces. So we've added uh, support for Etsy, Illusion, 3D Cart, Press the Shop, and XCart recently. Another one of the uh, major enhancements that we've made to Starship is uh, the ability to ship uh, the post office with uh, discount postage uh, that's available to you, uh, free to use uh, with uh, access to uh, discount rates that are comparable to your commercial plus pricing that you would normally have to have a higher volume of individual shipments uh, going out uh, as a business. You're able to uh, have access to those larger discounts by just by virtue of the fact of being a Starship customer, kind of part of a buying collective of users, so you can leverage that collective buying power of all the Starship users to get better discounts. Uh, so we're just offering discounts off the uh, list rate of uh, what you'd see through the post office normally at the desk or online, um, but you also have a number of incentive programs uh, that we can also offer you uh, by you know, changing up some of the packaging and looking at the, uh, the different volumes of uh, shipments that you're doing to specific zones and the types of items and packaging that you're using, uh, we have pricing for flat rate envelopes, cubic pricing, and also higher volume cubic pricing. As you can see from the uh, matrix here, there's some pretty significant savings off of the, uh, the list rate. We can also offer you a free shipping analysis uh, so we can take a look at your UPS and FedEx volume and do some analysis on your freight spend, show you where uh, you're potentially leaving some money on the table um, with uh, using the ground service, kind of target some of the areas where we can look at, you know, the post office as a viable alternative, and then also make some suggestions on changing up some of the packaging uh, to also save you uh, additional funds. 
uh, inside of Starship in the dashboard, there's also a uh, widget that will also show you if you don't have post office enabled, any of the potential savings. Uh, so you can see uh, right within Starship, if you're sh shipping things out by ground, uh, what uh, you're potentially leaving on the table and, and cost savings. One particular customer that we had that we did the analysis for realized the savings of over $400,000. So again, if you're interested in post office analysis or learning more about how we can save you money on your rates, feel free to contact your customer account manager or your sales rep and we'll be happy to uh, have that discussion with you. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the product demo. Okay, so today we're gonna to be demonstrating uh, the latest and greatest with Starship, taking a look at our new web client. This is available to any users on maintenance uh, with the 19.2.1 update. So if you haven't received that, feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to send that over to you and we can get you going on the latest browser-based user interface. Uh, essentially, Starship is uh, going through a metamorphosis at this point. We're moving the product to the cloud eventually. That is a project that's ongoing. This is kind of the first step in that process. And with that, still the on-prem version of the software, essentially the same database, same functionality behind the scenes of uh, Starship that you've known all along with a new user interface and a fresh coat of paint. You can run these in parallel. Uh, so you could be onboarding your users, training them, getting them used to using the new user interface while still maintaining the existing desktop users and you'll have that client available to go back to if needed. So this is the first screen that you'll come to on the new web client. Uh, you can scan in orders here, basically selecting the document number off of the GP pick ticket or your print out of the order. Or you also have the browse method here. So instead of clicking on the spyglass, everything is displayed right here in front of you. We'll go ahead and select an order that we want to ship and get started with that process. So with that, I can click on the little truck icon or I can click on create shipment here and that'll take me over to the process shipment screen. A little information here about the address correction. Uh, address validation is offered across the board with all your various carriers. So Starship will catch that here, change any of the address information, uh, the city state zip, can add the zip plus four and we'll get down to the suite level to let you know if it's a residential address we'll add in any of those additional surcharges so you're capturing all those charges up front and pushing that back into gp uh, you'll notice a little bit of a different look here instead of using tabs uh, all the information now is organized into these widgets here so instead of going left to right you're kind of moving up and down the screen here and we can drill into these widgets to see additional information you can customize uh, the look and feel of each one of these widgets here and what information is displayed. I click over here. You can take a look at all of the uh, additional items so I can add and remove fields to the screen easily here, including all of my user defined fields. Uh, with the e-commerce integration, uh, what we're doing here with uh, Shopify is we're pulling in the order from GP and as uh, we're processing that shipment. We're gonna write information back into GP. We're also going to hit the APIs for the shopping cart and push that status and information back into the cart so you have it available there on your e-commerce platform. Starship can also read and write directly to your shopping cart. So you have two different types of workflows. You can pull it in directly from the cart or if your e-commerce orders are flowing through into GP, we can pull it from GP and then we'll update both data sources on the right back. Uh, some of the different shopping carts also support uh, parcel shipments and line item fulfillment. So we can also bring in our part numbers as well if we choose. We also have the packaging assistant. This is a newer feature here. So I can you know, just key in my weight here or attach that to a scale. Or we can click into the packing assistant mode here. This is similar to the shipping assistant that uh, was in the previous desktop version here where you can move product from left to right and you can drill down into each of the packages to see the contents of those. We'll 
go back to our shipment here. So once we put in the weights, Starship's automatically going to rate that shipment here, give you a list of rates. So it came over from GP with the ship method of UPS ground. We do have the ability to override that here at the point that we're shipping. We can also automate that process for you if you are using the uh, rate shopping rules or switch rules where Starship can add some logic to that selection process. You could also lock this down with permissions for the users if you don't want them changing whatever comes over from GP or you want to enforce your business logic here in Starship, we can take care of that for you. You can see here there's a list of uh, various services that are available. It's going to rate them from the cheapest down to the most expensive. So on this particular shipment, we could save um, you know, over $5 if we decided to route that with the post office. So again, some great savings there that Starship can offer you if you're not leveraging the mail. We'll go ahead and leave it with UPS and I'll process the shipment here. So at F3 or ship and process, that will produce my labels, my packing list, whatever documents I need to go with the shipment. And at that point, we're writing the detail back in the GP and we're also updating the order over on the e-commerce side. We'll take a look back at that order here. And we're going to drill down into that order we just happened to ship. So just like we're doing in the order header with GP, we're going to put in all of the notes, uh, additional detail here about the shipment. Uh, we'll also have the uh, tracking number go into the cart. You can click on that hyperlink that'll take you out to the carrier's website. And we've marked this order as fulfilled on the cart. There's also a detailed log here of all the activity. So you can see exactly what Starship's kind of doing behind the scenes in the background. We'll take a look back over in GP at that same transaction. So we're doing all of those things that uh, we're normally doing with GP just kind of in combination with the uh, e-commerce integration. So what I've done here is uh, as the order came into GP, I've put uh, the e-commerce order number here. I stored that in my customer PO number. And we've also put in a user defined field here to tell Starship which shopping cart platform. That could be saved as a preference in Starship if you're just using the single cart but Starship can also toggle back and forth between multiple shopping carts and uh, different uh, e-commerce platforms, marketplaces where you may be selling. So if you have different sources uh, where you're selling your products online, uh, we can dynamically pull that from GP and toggle back and forth and hit the appropriate APIs on the right back. So again, we'll take a look back at the clients, at some of the mechanics behind the scene of how that happens. So in order to get into my mappings here, I'm gonna go into the setup menu. So everything is over here. You have these different uh, menus you can click into on the right-hand side, and that'll bring up this bar over here on the right. And this is where you can get into all of your system preferences, your user-defined fields, uh, the carrier configuration. And we're gonna open up our data source here of Dynamics GP. And then uh, we're gonna get into our interface. If you have the uh, e-commerce interface enabled, you'll see that enabled over here. There's another source that we can read and write to. So this is similar to the tree view that you have in customized interface in the desktop clients. Uh, just a little bit of a look, different look and feel here. That'll pop up another browser window and we can drill down into our mappings. So let's take a look at our order mappings here. So these are the two crucial mappings that you'll need to define in order to pull the data out of your cart. So 
So I've set up value translations if I'm pulling from different uh, cart platforms. So I have integration set up between Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, and WooCommerce. So we can easily toggle back and forth between those uh, by setting up these value translations. It eliminates the need for the operator, your shipper, to have to go in and remember which cart that they're shipping against. We're just doing that behind the scenes. So we're just shipping against GP. And as long as that information lives somewhere in GP where we can map it, uh, that tells Starship to hit the appropriate APIs on the right back. So once it knows the platform, then it's also gonna be looking for the order number. And I've stored that here in the customer PO. So really you can store that anywhere you want. Um, we have the ability to pull that from any of the default GP fields here. If it lives in some place outside of those mappings that you have out of the box of GP, you've maxed out all your user defined fields, you have a separate PO number that you want to capture. Uh, um, we can also get into GP's extender tables. Uh, Starship offers a SQL extension, which could be used in conjunction with the GP interface out of the box that can augment everything that we do with GP by default. And really that allows us to pull data from any place. So that could be an extender, any other uh, different databases that you want to merge with the default GP mappings, other applications within the environment, such as sales pad, CRM, service databases, really opens up any op options to get data in and out of Starship very easily. So we've got those two mappings there. And let's drill down into the shipment data. And we're gonna take a look at our items. So not all the carts will support item level data, but if you um, want to support the partial fulfillment or you wanna bring in the item details so you can show the part numbers on say a packing list, so you wanna use, you've got different e-commerce part numbers on your carts um, versus the internal GP part numbers, we can map those over as well. So here I've got a couple mappings that I've enabled. We have the uh, e-commerce item number and we're able to uh, bring that in over here. You could also set it to ship all and it will just always do a uh, fulfillment uh, on all the items. So that's kind of the behind the scenes look at how the mappings occur, really just three bits of information that can streamline your whole shipping process, allowing you to ship against both the marketplace, the cart, and your GP orders in the exact same workflow. Really very little impact to your users, and that is available on the new uh, web client as well.